Happy village down there. Eureka! I finally found it! It's not going to be easy to climb down there. The mountain is really steep. The fall would kill me. Yeah. And, of course, now anyone would think that, hey, itch, wow, rope, itch, rope, there's a rock tied to the, and so forth. But no, of course not. What we're gonna do is we're gonna pick this up. Okay. Yeah, you probably guessed it. The wood is in Nothing. pretty good shape. It's I might easy. be able to it's use it. Take this. Look what was hidden under the wood. It must be wow. some kind of mining tool, but the handle's missing. All right. That might be useful to me if I find a handle to put on it. Yeah! Woo! And where do we get a handle? I didn't even notice it when I came running out of the mine. You guessed it, viewer. No doubt it's one of James Douglas's miners, killed at the hands of the Hopis. We gonna borrow hmm. a bone? I don't like the idea. It's like grave robbing, but oh, come I on. don't have a choice. A bone might be just what I need. Roll pal, this sisters. femur has a little part broken off. I think it's just what I'm looking for. Yeah, and it is. Yeah, I think the femur could make a stupendous handle. Cool. It stays on nice and tight. Good. We'll take this. And... Nail. As you might have noticed. Okay. I'll take out the nail. It's pretty long, but it might come in handy. And we'll return to the edge. Because you can't go in there. Because he, uh, if you try to, he'll just whine about the bats. And yeah, he has to make everything complicated. Alright. I'll nail it into some hard ground so it'll hold tight. Ready. I think it'll hold up. And it will. Take this. I don't nope, think... Nope. Pixel searching? There. Come there on. Go. The rope has to be well attached to the nail. He couldn't just, you know... Right. Play it as a and now, big fat rock. let's do some rock climbing. No yeah. problem. I was quite the climber in summer camp. Oh, you, you're actually good at something. Wow. Oh no. Gina! Brian! Uh, I can't believe it! You're alive! How did you get here? Long story. When I fell down that hole, I hit my head and passed out. I don't know how much time passed before I woke up. When I came to, it was totally dark. My leg was throbbing. I dragged myself on hands and knees through the mine shafts, trying to find a way out. Finally, when I thought I was about to faint, I reached a shaft with light. I could see the sunlight at the end of the tunnel, so I got a second wind and forced myself toward it. Well, she's a survivor. Now, that's, that's something, dragging yourself through dark mines. When I mind. came out of the mine shaft, the first thing I found was that huge statue back there, and I was scared stiff. But I regained my composure and passed she through got all those girl balls. ruins until coming here. I couldn't Brian believe has I was no stuck balls in the middle of a rocky canyon with a broken leg. In all truth, I thought my life was over. And that's right where you showed up. Oh, Brian, I've never been so happy to see someone. But tell me, how did you manage to find me? Well, actually, I came across you by accident. After you fell down that terrible hole, I gave you up for dead. But I swore to solve the mystery of the crucifix. That's what brought me here. These ruins are from a Hopi village. And on the other side of this canyon must be the sacred crypt of the Hopis. The crucifix is actually a key that lets you into the crypt. That's astounding. How did you figure all this out? I'll give you the full story later. For now, let's get you out of here and have that leg fixed up. No, no, wait. I'm sure it was really hard for you to get here. Come on, let's not just leave without unraveling the mystery of the crucifix. I can hold out a bit longer. Don't worry. Please, go to that crypt. But you need to see a doctor, and that's more important. No, please, Brian. I owe it to my father. Do it for me. Well, okay. Have it your way. You just rest and don't move. 
Save your energy for when we leave. Okay, Brian. Don't worry about me. I don't like the look of Gina's leg. I didn't want to frighten her, but it seems like it's broken to me. I'll have to find a way to put a splint on her leg if I want to get her out of here. Okay, I think it'd be best to find that Hopi Crypt first. Afterward, I'll take care of Gina's leg. Well, it's always good to have your priorities straight. Yeah. Well, this, this is a... Well, yeah. Uh, I, couldn't I just play as Gina? It's, she seems to have a lot more drive to get through all this. Instead of Brian going over the lake and the ocean to get the water. Well, let's move on. Go into the cave. From up close, that statue looks even more amazing. That face is really intimidating. Now I know how the earliest miners of Douglasville must have felt when they saw this. Okay. We can look at some crosses. And that's uninteresting as hell. It must be some type but of Hopi symbol. Even though it's in the shape of a cross, it's probably not like a church cross. Doi. No, it's obviously not any kind of spring or mechanism. What makes you and think that. This may sound a bit superstitious, but I don't like the idea of disrespecting the religious symbols of other cultures. Come on, touch it. Touch, touch. Just touch it. Well, pick up this. It's a tomahawk. Yeah, a tomahawk could come in handy. Well, this is no simple axe. It can also be used as a pipe. Right? Yeah. It's a tomahawk axe pipe. Well, that's something. Let's leave. Because there's uh, not much else to do in there. And in fact, there's nothing. Except for, you know, looking at the statue. Oh, f yeah, alright. I'll tr treat you. Let's, let's look at the statue. <sighs> I get the shivers every time I stare into that face. It's completely solid. There's no door or anything like that. Yeah. That's it. Did you enjoy it? Good. There's a ladder to go down inside. No. I don't trust that ladder too much. If it were Gina, you'd just jump down. Screw the ladder. Let's see if I can do this. No? And I'm sorry about my commentary, but I'm tired and so close to the end that you stupid just to stop, so bear with me. And as you can see, this is a bit of a walking puzzle. Walk in here, you come out here. Here! Um, if you take the middle door, he'll end up down here again, so we'll take this one. Going up. And through this door. Door, door, door. And we'll end up here. Take the axe pipe. Yes, from here. I could cut the rope pretty far up and get a long enough piece to use as a splint for Gina's leg. Here we go. I'll cut up as high as possible. Done. Let's grab the piece of rope I cut off. With this bit, I'll have enough to make a splint for Gina's leg. Yeah, now you might be thinking, how the heck are we gonna get back then? But, um, yeah, they'll go through the, through the mine again, like, uh... Yep, good yeah, idea. They'll take By the dividing mine. the wood into two pieces, I'll have two boards to use as a splint on Gina's leg. And right now, I'm Ready. I think they're just the right size. But you are? Yeah, just to keep myself awake. Good. The pieces of wood and the rope can be used to make a makeshift splint, but I think it would be better to do that right before we leave. And first, I have to go into the sacred crypt and find out what's hidden in there. 
Why? Why couldn't you just do it now? 